Okay, so I am at a rest stop in Iowa right now. Just the first one when you cross the border from Nebraska to Iowa. And on a little trip, I have a work meeting on Monday in Des Moines, but uh, I'm gonna go do some photography before and after that and take you guys along. Um, a little bit of change of plans. I'm gonna do something a little bit non-typical and do some more city stuff this trip. I'll touch on uh, more of that later. Let's get on the road so we can get shooting. Good morning. Um, slept in a little bit. Uh, I'm now at uh, Browns Woods, which is over in West Des Moines. Gonna go do a little quick uh, two mile hike, try to catch some fall colors. Uh, parking lot was very promising. It's uh, very yellow, so got a little pretty decent night of sleep last night, a little cold, but not too bad. Got a couple, or got one road shot, which I'll show that now. And looks like it's gonna be a good morning, so let's get on the trail. So, I think I found my first photo. There's a log down here that I'm going to use um, kind of as a leading line. Woodland photography is not my specialty either. Um, that's kind of what this whole trip turned into. Again, I'll talk on that later, but um, it's kind of hard to make sense of all the chaos, but there's a nice <clears throat> there's some nice yellow foliage over there that I think I want to try to capture so I'm going to use the log as kind of a leading line into the scene and um, I think the fall foliage makes a nice focal point so I'm going to get the camera out and we'll see what we can do with it. Absolutely beautiful area, um, but I want to take a quick second uh, to talk about shot selection. So, I think when I first started shooting, I would just walk around. I would take a lot of handheld photos, uh, which I still do take handheld photos, but nowhere near as much. And I would get home, and I just would be really, really unsatisfied. Like I look at a lot of. Uh, my photos from the Tetons, at least now, and that was only a year ago. And I'm kind of like disappointed in a lot of them, I guess. Um, but now I would say that always using your tripod and keeping your camera in your bag, I think is a good, really un overlooked, I guess, way to improve your photos. Really what it comes down to is just making sure that you're taking your time, um, looking at things like light, and paying attention to composition. I feel like now that I try to do that a little bit more, I'm a lot more happy with a lot of the images I take home from these trips. So there's less of them for sure, but I think the quality has gone up quite a bit. So pro tip, 
Use your tripod, slow down. hotel room now obviously hotel room which is so weird because I never stay in hotel rooms hardly ever especially not on solo trips so um, I don't even know what to do obviously there's a bathroom in here bathroom oh exposure crazy there's a bathroom Obviously, pretty nice closet, mini fridge, microwave, desk area. This thing actually slides out. So if you want to move it across the room into another spot, that's good. Uh, view's not that great, but whatever. Exposure's probably going to go crazy. I'm going to avoid that. I'm at the Fairfield Marriott in Des Moines. Um, and like I said, I've never seen hotels because I've try to be pretty frugal with my money and save and sleep in my car or camp but my job paid for this hotel so perks um went and scouted which i've either shown that b-roll already or i'll show some of it now um the um shattered shattered silence what is it shattering silence yeah shattering silence monument which is actually right next to the the capitol building so i'll be there tonight for sunset and um, basically what that whole mission was about it was not only to kill time but to uh, uh, scout for sunset this evening so I kind of have about um, five or six photographs planned out for this evening and it's three o'clock right now so I'll probably start heading back over there maybe about an hour or so to kind of get set up so I can vlog and um you know get those shots and give myself plenty of time which is why scouting is so important because now i mean i don't even really have to rush for the most part i mean i will just because the light happens so fast but it'll be pretty easy to kind of just go get those shots and then come back here and get rested because the whole main point of this trip which i don't think i've explained yet was that i have a work conference uh, to go to tomorrow morning so my like i said my job paid for this hotel so that's pretty cool um but yeah just kind of hanging out here i just wanted to rest and relax a little bit i'm always a little bit too focused maybe on running around so i just decided that i'd want to um just kind of relax and enjoy this wonderful hotel room still um vlogging today has been a lot better <laughs> than yesterday i've been checking uh, the sound before I actually record anything of this amount of length so just to be safe but and still like now like before I recorded this I had an issue where it didn't record and I unplugged the mic and replugged it and it was fine so I'm still not sure what's going on when it records though it sounds good so uh, I'm not sure if I would have that issue with the I think it's the Rode Video Micro or not but if anyone has had issues with the Mobile VXR10 with the same problem, uh, let me know about what you did to fix it or what you can do. Um, the view's not good, but I am gonna set up uh, a time lapse with the Canon M50 while I wait, because I haven't done a time lapse with it, and I'm really kind of interested to see the quality in comparison to my GoPro. So um, I will show you that here in just a moment. And um, after that, I should be on location um, at uh, the Monument and the State Capitol Building, so. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm on location here at the state capitol building, which is right in front of me, and um, it's just amazing what a few hours will do when the light starts to soften. Everything just looks so much more beautiful now. And I'll do a little bit of B-roll, and, we'll, and um, you can kind of go back and compare the difference if you like. But trust me, it does make a difference. I have a shot that I found already that um, there's a nice tree that has some fall foliage here that I'm going to use to uh, frame the top of the Capitol building, which is glowing a nice, beautiful gold right now. So I'll go ahead and take that shot and show you. Okay, shot number one in the bag. I actually didn't have that one planned uh, from this morning, or from not this morning, earlier this afternoon. Um, but I got out of the car and I just saw kind of a neat opportunity to frame. I feel like my eyes are way more honed in uh, when the light is just starting to hit like this. It's getting a little bit lower on the horizon, a little bit more gentle. Everything just looks super pretty right now. And I'm crossing the street to head over to uh, the other, the other uh, monument. So let's not get hit by a car. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, made it. And, uh, yeah, it's just unbelievable how much different everything looks right now. Just with the uh, wavelength of the light changing. So I'm going to head over here to this monument and get those shots. Who said you didn't have to be in shape to be a photographer? Oh, I'm running. <laughs> I'm gonna get there though. So I'm glad I had a plan. Oh man. Okay, almost there. Okay, so. I got um, those big wide shots out of the way. Um, I didn't quite go back over to the Capitol where I wanted to just because I'm running the time lapse on the GoPro and I didn't quite feel comfortable uh, leaving it here and going to shoot. Uh, so um, I basically just turned around right here and, and grabbed a couple uh, wider shots. And now I am back here still looking down uh, looking down this main drag but now i have the 55 to 200 on and i'm just using uh, that lens to provide some compression and really kind of hone in on this traffic and just a few of the buildings instead of always going for like the big grand uh scene so um that's one thing that i've kind of been working on and kind of have been learning from some other people that i follow on youtube is that once you kind of get your big wide shot don't just sit there and keep taking it like you already have it um, go for some variety, something a little different. Um, and you know, a lot of times too, a lot of people aren't used to seeing those um, compressed shots. So uh, those, they can have a little bit more impact. So, um, so I'm gonna sit here for a little bit and wait for kind of my opportunities with the traffic and uh, grab maybe one or two more shots and then maybe try to go grab one more detail shot off that depending on what the sky looks like. Um, and then I'm gonna call it a night. So uh, yeah, great day. A uh, great, great night of shooting. Uh, it was nice. Had a plan, executed the plan. Got a lot of shots that I'm really happy with. So super stoked. Couldn't be more happy with how uh, the day went. Uh, and with that, I'm gonna call it a vlog. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you have any questions about any of my gear or uh, thought process or anything like that. And uh, if you want to subscribe for more videos, I would greatly appreciate it. So thanks.